Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to another vlog. This is, this is gonna be us hanging out this weekend. Also my hands, my hands. I always try to prevent my hands from having self tan on them and washing them, but I went to bed after I put on self tanner on my face and this is what I'm dealing with. It's Thursday, I wanted to vlog this whole weekend and just hang out with you guys. Last night I was really restless. I've been having a lot of sleepless nights, but last night in particular I was very like afraid and doubtful and scared and I just had so much on my mind and it was really hard for me to sleep. I didn't go to bed until like 5 a.m. and then I woke up at like 11, which was horrible. I never want to do that. It literally makes me feel so stupid, but I got all dressed and ready for my day and I was like, you know what? I'm going to have a good focused day today. I still want to vlog. I still want to go for my walk get ready and do my thing so basically I just you know got myself together did a little 10 minute stretch did some emails then I got myself ready and went to the kitchen to take all of my vitamins do aloe vera in a shot glass with some chlorophyll it helps your digestion it's good for your skin it's good for your insides and smelling good and cleaning everything out So I take a shot of that and then I do a tablespoon a thousand milligrams of vitamin C It's really good for anti-aging and your immune system. It's literally the best vitamin C ever. Then I made myself a little breakfast because I'm gonna go to the studio today, so. I made myself some Ezekiel bread toast with almond butter and I got fresh raspberries from the grocery store this morning. I had it delivered. I cheated on myself and I didn't go to the grocery store. I had it delivered. So I just did almond butter, raspberries, hemp seeds, and I love cacao nibs because dark chocolate and raspberries are just so perfect. And hemp is a great plant-based protein. <laughs> good for your brain and your hair and your skin I've been really struggling it's weird I always stand up to eat I don't like to sit unless I'm with guests I have a really weird thing where since I'm no longer you know I don't have a roommate I don't have a partner and I'm just you know me myself and I I just stand to eat just to like I don't know why I just like have a hard time just like sitting to eat by myself Hey, do you mind if we do 3.30? They say to take deep breaths before you eat. And then not to eat or, or not to drink any liquids. And then to not watch any type of social media or anything at all. Just to focus on eating and digesting. Because my tea says, are not flowers the stars of the earth? That's by Clara Lucas Balfour. If you see like things that make you angry or upset while you're eating, it can upset or kind of like interrupt your digestive process while you're eating. We don't want that. So yeah, basically, you know, I made myself, while I waited for my toast, I made myself some tea, some throat coat. Before I did my vocal warm ups, and it's. <laughs> best I love having tea I have my coffee I have my water basically all my liquids I am a three liquid plus girl I always have so many liquids with me and then basically did my vocal warm-up <laughs> got myself ready to go I've been kind of recording little covers and or writing new music so just want to make sure my voice is strong and warmed up and prepared for 
recording and sounding good and not rough and janky. <laughs> So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go to the studio just for about an hour and a half. We're just gonna do a couple things. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to, I think last night when I was restless, I just like want, I wanna have total detachment, total detachment from any material items. I feel like a lot of the sense of my self-worth sometimes not always but like sometimes is in material things or like when i see all these like peers of mine or other singers like they're wearing all this designer or they have these boyfriends or whatever they're able to afford like all these designer things and i'm putting money into my career and my music and sometimes i get i feel a little bit left out and i'm like why like material things you'll be able to get that one day you know what i mean it's just because you can't have it now or buy whatever you want as long as i have a place to live that's safe that's really important to me and i'm able to do things to take care of myself and make myself look and feel the best and also eat really good food not like going out to restaurants but like being able to afford my groceries and my lifestyle i think where i live having a car organic foods fruits and vegetables which is very expensive because i have it delivered and being able able to do things like you know afford pilates afford infrared saunas afford you know stuff to make sure i'm constantly up on looking good my nails everything that's what's important to me all the bags shoes sunglasses like I, sometimes i feel like a little left out but i shouldn't so with that being said when i come back i'm gonna just start slowly posting my entire closet on my depop and whatever sells sells and what doesn't i keep in my closet but i'll constantly there are like maybe three items in my closet that I will never have for sale that are sentimental or I wore during a crazy time whether it was good or bad that are just like it's a memory that I'm just gonna keep forever but pretty much everything I'm gonna start just listing on my depop designer items things never worn I have designer pieces that I've never worn that I'm just like why do I have this so make sure you guys look out for that but I'll show you guys a few pieces too so this is the start of my weekend vlog hanging out with me I'm sorry this intro was really long but yeah I'm gonna go to the studio now and I'll see you guys after So there's this girl on TikTok named The Sloth Girl, and she had a red pepper sandwich. So I was in the mood to make one. So this is green pepper, hummus, vegan cheese, vegan cheddar, vegetarian, ham, so plant-based, cucumber, and onion. This is so good. All right, so I have a lymphatic drainage massage on the way to come in-house in my home because they say if you're just like feeling out of whack having breakout skin you know just having sleep off you might have a backed up lymphatic system so i am getting one this morning it's currently 8 53 in the morning i bought self tan on my face and it kind of got a little patchy i have a lot to do today i'm excited to have coffee edit part of this vlog do emails it's gonna be a good day because i'm choosing for it to be a good day. I also might get my nails removed. They're really long. I ordered a bunch of Amazon stick-on nails with like really intense glue. I might get these removed and then try to do my own nails tonight. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay, so I just finished the massage. I put on this waist trainer because I'm going to try to sculpt my stomach because it's very vulnerable right now because it's damaged. Look at this waist, it's sculpting. So I booked a sauna session. I'm gonna go to, I have to leave in 35 minutes, but I have some time to go on a walk and get a hot coffee from my favorite place ever. So let's go. Okay, so I'm at my sauna place and I forgot how absolutely incredible this place is. So I come to Remedy Place. It's literally insane. I have the room for an hour and they give you the ice ball with the eucalyptus towel, fresh water, and 
then you hop right in the shower afterwards and then you cover yourself in like a body oil. So good. You get completely nude, but I'm gonna leave my waist trainer on to encourage more sweating in my midsection. That's gonna be the best thing. So, I'm so excited. amazing sauna session I do say so myself I might seem crazy for doing all of this stuff but you know I'm just trying to be the hottest baddest version of myself not hotter than Susie Q right here not hotter than some cutie on the gram myself and how cool is it that I can try and do all these things or do nothing at all perhaps and or even you know, completely eat like shit and drink like I did last year and be able to test how my body is gonna react and how I can sculpt my body exactly how I want it or not give one shit. I think it's super cool to be able to have to do that. I think that's the coolest thing in the world. I am super passionate about obviously health and wellness. I'm gonna put but also, you know, doing things that can make me feel, number one, that's the biggest thing, feel. Your health inside your body is the biggest thing, but also look really good and be super proud of it. And I know some people come out of the womb and they have perfect bodies and perfect skin and perfect hair and perfect whatever, but that's their journey. That's their blessing, good for them, you know what I mean? Maybe they can't dance, maybe they can't sing like I can sing, maybe they can't act, maybe they can do all of that and have all of it, but maybe they can't cook, you know what I mean? Like I think what keeps my sanity in a city like LA is the fact that nobody's beauty hinders my beauty Nobody's talent hinders my talent. What is God's plan will be the plan for me And that's why I can appreciate amazing artists amazing singers women singers female singers and not look at them as Competition, but look at them as something like they're giving to the community of art You know because their voice isn't exactly like my voice their look is not exactly like my look so you know and it's literally full this tour bus is literally full but you know what I mean and I think for a while I I never like was intimidated by the beauty of someone else but I think the talent so if I would see other people that were more talented than talented than me it would make me feel less it would make me feel non-deserving so I think I've always struggled with that I've never really been competitive with other girls that's why me and my couple of my friends were having dinner the other night I've never felt intimidated standing next to another girl I, I really haven't and if I did it was like Rihanna because she's just such a powerhouse but it's not like intimidated like oh she's gonna steal my man I think if anything there's been a time where I was in a relationship and there was this girl with really big boobs who I'm actually still friends with today I'm not gonna say her name but she's really stunning and she's got huge boobs and we were on a trip and my boyfriend at the time kept looking at her boobs and it was making me very upset I wasn't upset at her I was just like upset that like my boyfriend couldn't fucking control himself it was very obnoxious and annoying for me but now you know I'm never gonna be I'm gonna fucking not be with somebody who's gonna just like think that that's okay or can't control themselves or whatever but I don't know I think doing all these things is so cool I get to tailor my avatar my body my soul keeper whatever you want to call it the way I want it and watch how it reacts to certain things vitamins foods workouts it's so fun for me and I love to be able to share it through this outlet like this is what's so cool and I also just think it gets you more in touch with you and what you know that you need you know that you love so when you do find somebody that you love hopefully I will one day and I can share these things about myself because I know these things about myself and it can make that so much better. And also just like for my career, everything. Like when I have this perception of myself that I know my talent, I know I can strengthen that. Like I work on all these voice things every single day. Cause I know that I, you know, my opportunity will come. My career and my talent, being a singer, being an actress, whatever. All these other people, it gets competitive and the industry does pin other people and compare other people against each other. 
but that people being people, you can't really control that. And if people want to compare me to another brunette person, go for it. I'm literally nothing like any of, you know, even if I have similar features to someone, I can't even be compared because I'm, I'm, we're nothing alike. And even if I'm like another brunette in Hollywood and trying to get the same movie roles, whatever, we have different talents, we have different strengths, we have different vibes, body types, hair type, you know what I mean? So just if you're ever comparing yourself or feeling like you are less because the beauty of the world, that is completely wrong. And I know sometimes it's hard to like not look in the mirror and be like, oh my God, but it's true because there is no one else like Angelina Jolie. There is no one else like Margot Robbie. There's, there's literally nobody else and Angelina Jolie existing does not hinder the fact that Margot Robbie is stunning. You know what I mean? Like your hot friend does not hinder the fact of your beauty. Or like also, I'm really rambling here cause I'm like trying to park. I used to have girlfriends that would be like, you're so flirty. You're gonna like take the attention of all the guys cause you're such a flirt and da 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 da. And let me tell you something. What man is meant for you will be for you. Trust me, my flirtatious ways will not take your man, okay? So like me having a flirty personality will not take away from the you finding a boyfriend and I've had friends that have literally been like you're so flirty you take everyone like whatever no if a guy is gonna go for you he's gonna go for for you because of chemistry human nature stuff like that so I'm gonna park my car because this is gonna be a little tedious Good morning guys. I am gonna go get a pedicure. Wow, both of these batteries are done. I'm gonna make my coffee and go get a pedicure and charge these batteries. Okay, nails are off. Look how cutie my nails look though. They actually look really good. Gel X, if you have it in your city, ditch the acrylic, get yourself some Gel X because my nails have never been like super thick and crazy strong, but I will say they're not beat up. They don't look like complete hell getting Gel X off of them. Here, I got a little French tip. Dee, 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 dee. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I feel like having some like toast with hard boiled egg. So I'm about to tell you guys something that is really crazy. So, every other night, right here on the corner of this microwave, I don't like to have a lot of lights on in my house at night. I like more of a darker vibe. I have really light eyes and they're sensitive to light. Can't believe I'm telling you guys this. So I see, I see a cockroach that comes out and he just hangs like right in the corner here between the fridge and the microwave. And so it's always just him, never several. And I was this close last night to spraying him with like this like spider scorpion cockroach raid. And I was just like standing way back here and I just, it's that stuff is so messy. And then I was like, okay, well, it's gonna kill him because it's very point. Like it literally drops these animals, insects on their asses. I was like, it's gonna make a huge mess. And on top of it, he's gonna die. And I'm gonna have to dispose of his body. And I really don't wanna do that. Like, I really don't wanna have to pick up like, and he's like a good size. Like he, he's like this, this big. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. So anyways, I'm like right here and I'm like looking at him and he sees me and he's clearly afraid of me. Sprouts and hard boiled egg. So I'm kind of like, I'm making like a bunch of pitter patter to kind of like scare him to see where he runs to because he's always literally like just right there. He's never like over here. He's never over there. Like clearly he lives somewhere. And I'm like, there's no way he's like, is he living in my fridge? I'm kind of banging around and all of a sudden I see him creep up into the microwave. And I've been telling myself I've been wanting to get rid of my microwave because, oh, are these bad? <sighs> so I've been wanting to get rid of my microwave. I'm always just like, it's not good, no, no, no. Well, now, now I'm like, now I have a reason to get rid of it. Here's the thing. I don't want to pick up the microwave. What if he runs out? There are a million things that are running through my head. Now, I don't know what to do. Is this fucked up? You guys can tell me if I'm. I have a house cleaner that comes once a month. Her name's Maria. She's the best. I kind of just want to tell her if I have my house cleaner when she comes next week, just to like be like, hey, you know what? While you're throwing out garbage and stuff, can you just throw out my microwave for me? As I like use my microwave, well, there's clearly a cockroach living in it. 
I was moving with you guys. What would you do? Here's what we're working with. Balanced breakfast, I've, if I do say so myself. I know what you're thinking. Janelle, how the hell are you sleeping at night knowing that there's literally this big of a cockroach just living with you inside your home? Let me tell you something. I have way bigger things to worry about right now than some little critter. So one day, if I'm complaining about a spider, just know my life is going really good because if I could sit here and complain and worry and have the thought that there's a cockroach right next to me in my brain, just means I'm not doing enough. Also, some sprouts on my floor. I mean, I almost just picked them up and ate it because you know it's quick, but I'm wearing my shoes and I wear my shoes outside in the LA streets where people take shits and I almost just did that. So remind me if you ever see me like drop something really quick, even a cracker, throw that shit out. Don't let me eat it. Real organic whole grains, greens, and lean protein from the fish and the egg white, minerals from the Celtic salt. You should not be eating any other bread besides Ezekiel if you're buying it from the store. Ezekiel is like one of the only breads without sugar. And let me tell you something, sugar and carbs at the same time, girl, unless you're spoiling yourself, don't do it. Unless you don't give a shit about your like waist and stuff like that, but you no. Know, you want to keep it right and tight. Sometimes you gotta take the L. Damn, that was actually really good. Mmm, fire. Okay, I'm gonna get some more coffee. Start doing some computer work. It's Saturday, so I want to send out and get things ready for Monday. Because Sundays, I'm really starting to practice Sabbath, which is like a rest day. I'm really trying for my mental sanity to have it as a day of rest. Catch up with my friends, text messages, messages, consume YouTube, TikToks, Instagrams, consume television, sing songs, study music, do vocal warm-ups, stretch, go for a walk. And I do that all during the week, but also in the fluster of all the work I'm doing. So these I can like, I eat too fast. This I can like pace out. So, and you know, my Sundays I kind of want back for me. I've been like not being on a good time management. So I want to like get my time better during like Saturday so I can work. And then Sunday it's like me. I can go to the flea market. I can go for a hike. I can go for a walk. I can walk to get coffee, stretch longer, no Pilates, no workouts classes, sit on my couch, do a face mask, maybe start a new show, watch a movie, which I never do. I don't watch any TV or any movies. Can't remember the last time. I mean, I watched the Kardashians, but is that really like a TV show? It's just kind of like an extended version of their social media. Um, but yeah, just really have just like, okay, I'm done rambling. It's Saturday. Let's do it. <sighs> okay, guys. So it's Sunday night and I didn't do my press on nails. And I wanted to show you guys pieces I'm selling in my closet, but I'm so tired from editing this vlog and another makeup look, this like gray eye makeup look that you guys can check out later this week. And then I was doing TikToks and then I had to clean and then I had to pack up Depop stuff. So I'm gonna continue this vlog into the week, but I'm gonna stop this weekend vlog here and start a new week vlog this next upcoming week i am going to pilates i'm doing yoga i'm doing a dance class and then i'm going to a beauty event so it should be should be quite eventful sorry i look but it should be very eventful i just want to say thank you guys always for watching my vlogs supporting me loving me buying my jewelry line buying my gently used clothes because i'm cleaning out my closet because i just i'm trying to detach myself from everything and just Thank you for supporting me always. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm posting still all, I still love Instagram. I still loving posting. I still love to post sick outfits and sick ass looks. So make sure you guys follow me there if you guys like outfits. So thank you guys always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Release me from this curse I'm in Trying to maintain but I'm struggling If you can't go I think I'm gonna oh, oh, oh.
Stay up.